what is up guys welcome back we are going to play some more mobile legends today and today we're going to talk about some more beginner stuff now if you've liked the other two guys that i've done basically explaining how some of this stuff works you're at an understanding of basically how everything in your ui works now so what i want to talk about today is lane position and a little bit about map awareness but i have a lot more that i want to cover about map awareness so we're going to cover a majority of that in another video but today i want to talk about the concern of where your position on the map is at now there's obviously a halfway point on the map which is currently the river right here as you can see the river is literally right in the middle of the map so if i say the term overextended that means you're past this point if you're past that point of the map you are overextended you can fight off and defend your base from here comfortably without having to worry about someone killing you now what i was telling you about the map is that it's going to come into play in just a second because you need to be aware where your other opponents are at on your map when they are in an area that they are attacking someone or they get within a certain radius of you, they show up on the mini map, which is in the top left corner of your screen. Now, if you keep an eye on that with about every three to five seconds to make sure your enemies are not going anywhere they're not supposed to be, or if you're losing track of them, be aware of that and try not to go past that overextension point. Now, you can get pulled into it like that, but if I were further out right there, I would probably have not made it back to under my tower to where I can successfully defend my base right here. Now that makes a good point as these guys are going to tower dive right here. So we're going to heal up and you just defend yourself. If you would have been overextended, you wouldn't have had the health or the items to be able to do that. So just make sure you can get back to your base safely before you try to attack now there are three lanes yes you have top you have mid and you have bottom now typically as you see in these matches here you have one person that goes to middle and you have two that go on top and two that go on bottom now does it really matter which person goes in lane uh not really but the norms are you'll see most of the time a ranged person being in mid lane by themselves and you can take whatever you bring with the rest of you as far as group makeup and we just entirely missed that shot that is something you need to be conscious about as well uh, something i didn't really touch too much on the ui interface thing uh, your buttons being able to rotate and cast um, if you have any questions about that right there i'll feel free to ask in the comments below i will answer that but as far as the rest of your lanes, uh, your your group makeup, it's it's got a little bit to do with who you want in each lane. So typically it would be good to have maybe a fighter or a magic dealer or a ranged person with a tank per se in a top lane or a bottom lane. So you want to have either a melee or a magic person and ranged person or a melee and tank running in the same yeah r melee and tank running in the same lane that's not something typically you want to see unless it's someone like franco that can pull closer to you uh you're gonna have a bit of a disadvantage especially if you're going up against per se two ranged or a ranged and a magic damage dealer all right now another thing i want to talk about in this beginner guide about your lanes basically your map awareness and the total over general area of your map is also the objectives of this game now when you first start out the tutorial basically showed you that you can kill somebody and run to their base and you can actually just destroy them uh, it gives you a false perception of how powerful you are technically in the game because during that tutorial you're not really supposed to die so it's not going to let you so you basically are made to be overpowered there now, when you get into real matches, it's completely different. As you've seen, uh, if you've already been playing, I know some of you guys have been playing and don't need to know any of this information, but there are people that do need to know this. Now, to what I was initially telling you about objectives, 
it's not just about killing basically the mission for this game is to outplay your opponent now there's multiple ways you could do this you could do this in team fights if you're working together with other people but beginning out you're probably going to be playing by yourself and not have a lot of friends well i'm going to try to help you basically understand what you need to be doing now of course working together with a teammate yes you can easily kill one person but that is not the objective of this game the objective is to kill their towers and get to their base and destroy it the first person to do that obviously wins now when i say it's objective base your towers your minions there's so many different points of objectives in the game um i could probably do an entire video just of objective based things that you need to be watching out and taking care of while you're playing and it's it's a lot to take in all at once but i just want to give you the basics of these now the being one the map being aware where you're at on the map being aware where your enemies are at on the map and overall your experience of you know going after these objectives and the number one objective you need to be worried about are the towers and secondly minions now obviously you're gonna have to kill the minions to get to the towers so if you continue killing your minions and keep your second priority done you will always be able to get to that first priority which is those towers pushing that lane getting closer to that kill point of taking out that base back there now Another objective could be your minions, of course. Now, if you can alternate and work in between your minions and your lane, you can double your experience, double your gold, and out-level your opponent and win the match easily. And when I say easily, you can tell I'm far superior to these cult guys right here. I have out-leveled them. Of course, these are computers, but it just shows you what you do if you actually utilize what is available as far as your objectives all right guys lastly i want to touch back again on the group composition uh, the group makeup does make a big turnaround and effectively maneuvering and working your way across the map if you have too many tanks it can affect you if you have too many adcs it can affect you and when i say adc i mean like a range person uh, that is attack damage basically your carry your person that's going to be doing the bulk of your damage uh, and when i mean that as per se for instance if you use minotaur which is a tank support character if someone is using minotaur they're more than likely going to be basically taking the bulk of that damage for you that way you're able to stand on the outer area and sustain that damage that's basically what a role of an adc is doing you don't want to get in the middle of that fight now you can have too many of those which would make your team squishy and susceptible to easily be ganked and if you just get outplayed it's that much easier for them to kill you now right here being a bad situation three versus one i got hit with everything there that's what i'm talking about adc it didn't take many of them me being even a couple levels ahead of them to easily take me down so adc having too much can be bad Having too many tanks can be bad because you won't be able to output the damage. Not having enough magic damage versus physical damage or vice versa. Everything needs to be balanced and we'll talk about that more in a completely other video. But I just wanted to remind you guys that's something we will be doing as well. If you have any other suggestions or just want to know anything about this game guys, please feel free to leave a comment below. I do read all your comments. I do listen to all suggestions. And uh, overall, I just hope this guide makes this game an overall better experience for everyone. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Like I said, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.